John Dinkin, clinical psychologist from Baltimore, Maryland. He's won 16,000 with all of his lifelines still with him, and this is exactly where uh, Beth Kellum was a few minutes ago. Good, good place to be, believe me. Now, here's an interesting thing that we've never had on the show before, I don't think. Um, you have you compiled your phone-a-friend list, mm -hmm. and one of them is your wife's ex-boyfriend. That's true. Yeah. Is he a smart guy? Oh, he's a very smart guy. Nice-looking guy? You have to ask my wife. What's he like, Mary? He's a very smart guy. Nice-looking guy? Sure. No kidding. He's a very nice guy. He's an uh, old friend of Mary's. He's become a friend of both of ours, and he's a great guy. He's smart, too. Well, that's good. We can use him, right? True. All right, fine. Back to it. Let's play. Here we go, John. Going for 32000 Take a look. <clears throat> The 2000 book, Utter Insanity, is a biography of what TV personality? Dennis Miller, Tom Green, Bill Maher, Chris Rock. Reach, I'm going to ask the audience on this one. Okay, audience, we need a little help for John. If you're ready, on your keypads. Using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, still no clear cut majority, but 37% feel it's Tom Green. If I, if I had to make a guess, I would have said Tom Green. Although that's not. I'm not, certainly not positive of that. Why would you guess him? Well, because Tom Green is a comic who, I guess out of the four of them, you would describe his comedy as insane. Bill Maher makes no sense. He's a political comic. Dennis Miller is a more sophisticated comic than I would think the title Utter Insanity would be used for. And Chris Rock's comedy doesn't... Uh... So while I don't know exactly, I, I feel pretty confident that I can eliminate A, C, and D. That would leave? I would leave B. My wife's going to kill me, but uh, I am a gambler by nature. I'm going to say B, Tom Green. Want to add final answer to that? Final answer. What's the problem? Of course it's Tom Green. You've got it right, John. The Tom Green Show on MTV. All right, you got up to Come in bed at $32,000, and that's great. We're five away from the million dollar level, and we're talking about a million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars here, John. Big wide house for that kind of money. <laughs> as wide as you want. Here it is for sixty-four thousand. Dendrology is the study of what? Rocks. Planets. Animal behavior, trees. <clears throat> I don't think it's animal behavior, but I can't I can't be sure. Regis, I'd like to phone my brother-in-law, Mark. You want to call the boyfriend? <laughs> well, John might know it, too, but I think Mark has a better chance of knowing Let's it. Let's get Mark on the line, AT&T. We need him right now. Hello. Hello, Mark. Yes. Regis Philbin calling from New York City. How are you? Okay. Good. I've got John here, and we're kind of hung up on a question. He's five away from the $1 million level, so it's very important. 
Okay. He's going to come on the line and read the question of the four answers, and one of them's the right answer. John, it's all yours. 30 seconds right now. Dendrology, D-E-N-D-R-O-L-O-G-Y, is the study of what? Rocks, planets, animal behavior, or trees? Trees. Are you sure about that, Mark? Yes, I am. Thanks, Mark. How is it out in Seattle? Yeah, me too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. What did he say? I'm not sure. You heard trees, though, didn't you? Yeah. And he sounded quite confident, didn't he? Uh, Mark is a very smart guy. And Just he's... doesn't know what it's like in Seattle, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say D, trees, final answer. We're going with Mark. Mark is right for $64,000. Yes, sir. We're going to get back. We're going for $125,000 in a moment.